Hello, brilliant entrepreneur. It's Tash Corbin here and welcome to another episode of the Heart Centered Business Podcast. This is episode number 243, which means you can find all the relevant links and show notes over at tashcorbin.com forward slash 243. And I have a bit of an out of the box freebie for you today as well. So make sure you go and check this one out. We have a Q&A episode today. I'm answering Jody's question about how often do I set myself a fast money target? So let's dive on in. I'm Tash Corbin and this is the Heart Centered Business Podcast. So today's question comes from the fabulous Jody Thornton. You can find out more about Jody at jodythornton.com and she is a parent coach. I'll make sure I pop the links so you can go and check Jody out over with the show notes at tashcorbin.com forward slash 243. Jody asks a brilliant question, which is, hi, Tash, how often do you set a fast money target? So this is a really great question. And I think even though it's going to be a pretty quick episode, there's some great little lessons in this one. So first and foremost, what is a fast money target? So for those of you who are in my audience and have been around for a little while, you probably are familiar with this, but I do have a fast money training and I also have a fast money challenge that I run from time to time about setting and achieving a stretch income goal in a really short period of time. So I call fast money, it's named after the fast money round on sale of the century, but I call fast money when you want to set a big income goal for a short period period of time and you want to bring in that fast money. Now, because of that, my fast money goals are usually something where it's a seven to 10 day thing. And uh, I don't always have a fast money target going at all times at this stage in my business. However, I always have a quarterly income goal or sometimes I'll set it for a little bit longer. Maybe it's like a hundred day income goal. I love setting a goal for the first hundred days of the year. So I'll have a hundred day income goal usually at the start of most years. Um, So that's not necessarily a fast money goal. It's more of an extended period of time. But a fast money goal, I would define as something where I'm going for a stretch income goal. Maybe it's seven, 10, maybe even 14 days. So because of that, um, and because fast money is for me a short term goal, then I only ever really set a fast money goal these days when it's when I'm doing a launch. So maybe I have a launch and in the six days of the cart being open, I set myself a big stretch income goal for what I'm going to bring in at that point in time. If I'm going for a specific purchase, so I uh, recently needed to upgrade my phone and I got my Apple Watch and I was getting a few other little tech tools and toys. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to go and manifest the money for those in three days. So that was a really fun little challenge I set for myself. Or the other thing that I do use fast money goals for these days is when I can, in my cash flow projections, see that cash flow might be a little bit a bit tight coming up, then I can do a fast money goal in a short period of time to manifest that income in that period of time. So that definitely has been something I haven't done for a long time in my business because I didn't do cash flow projections. But now that I do those more consistently and I can see what's coming up, I have been doing those fast money targets for myself. It probably pops up once every couple of months where I can see, oh, if I just get my predicted income in for this month, then I might be a little bit tight on cash flow. I'd rather have a really big chunky gap, a nice buffer for myself. So I'll do a little fast money challenge for myself. However, all of that being said, I when I was in startup, I actually did a fast money target every single week. Because every single week I wanted to challenge myself to see how much I could earn for that week. And I would stretch out my goal a little further. I would have a look at what's coming up for the week and what would be a nice juicy stretch for me. And I would set myself a fast money challenge and I would go for it. Um, And then I would start on a Sunday and every Sunday morning I'd do a review of the past seven days and then I'd set myself up for the next seven days. So For those people who are interested in my answer to this question because of where they're at in their business and using that to guide how often they set themselves a fast money target, what I would say is set it for as often as you want. 
when I set myself a fast money target and stayed focused on it for that seven days, my income was always better, whether that be during the seven days or in the following seven days. So that for me, when I first started my business was actually me practicing and refining my own manifesting strategy. And that's why I did it so consistently. I might um, take a week off or sometimes what I would do is I would start on a Sunday and end on the Saturday. And then the following week, I would just take three or four days and I would start on the Wednesday and then I'd do a 10 day fast money target. So it's really up to you. For me, I'm the kind of person who I work really well when I have short term goals, I have deadlines and I have a process to follow. And so that was a really great way for me to prove to myself I can improve my income week on week on week. As my business started to grow and my income became a little bit more predictable, then I might do the first week of every month. I would go for a fast money target. And if I wasn't close to my monthly income goal at the end of the month, I might do a fast money target for the end of the month as well. So there's lots of opportunities to do fast money um, targets for yourself and set yourself that short term stretch goal and go for it. And I would say, just pay attention to how it makes you feel, whether that really lights you up, how well it works for you. And it also, for me, the big thing that I got out of doing those fast money challenges kind of back to back to back was that it really showed me how to notice the difference between, okay, I'm tired, I need to take a break. I don't want to do this like stretching myself this week versus... I am resisting the mindset work or the actions that I know would grow my business right now. And it was so good for me to be able to learn the difference between the two. Is this my resistance and my limiting beliefs and mindset blocks coming up? Or is this just me actually feeling a bit tired and not wanting to go for a stretch this week and wanting to allow myself a beautiful rest week? Now, a little bonus tip here, and I'll pop a link in the show notes over to um, this fabulous lady that I'm going to refer to. And that was for me, I recognized when I started doing fast money targets very consistently, I recognized in the week where I was due to be menstruating, that was not a great time for me to go for a fast money target. I found those weeks were a great time for me to be a bit more reflective and connect in with my goals and those sorts of things. But some of the actions that I wanted to take to get out there and start bringing in that money weren't necessarily aligned with where I was at in my cycle. And I learned about that doing uh, both Flow Freedom and Your Business, Your Flow with Stasha Washburn. So if you don't follow Stasha, I highly recommend her. I'll make sure we link over to her Facebook page and her website for you. But that was definitely one for me. And that was actually part of me learning is this tiredness and it's not the right time versus is this just me? It is the right time, but I'm in resistance because I actually don't want it to work or uh, I don't want to try and fail and have people see me publicly fail or there's some other mindset block coming up for me. And so nowadays, if I am going to do one of those short-term income targets, the first thing that I check is where am I going to be in my cycle? What is coming up for me right now in terms of the different phases? Because we have those four phases. Learn more about it from Stasha. I'm not the expert. But uh, that has been instrumental in me really learning how to um, ride along with the the ebbs and flows of my energy and uh, tying that into how I schedule myself and whether I'm you know, in stretch mode or contemplation mode in my business as well. So Jody, I hope that I've answered your question. If you are interested in finding out more about setting and achieving short-term income goals, I do actually have a free training. It's called Fast Money. And I'll make sure I link to that Fast Money training for you in the show notes of today's episode as well. So make sure you head on over to tashcorbin.com forward slash 243 to grab the link to that free training. 
Also, if you've been listening along to this podcast episode and you'd like to ask me a question, make sure you go to tashcorbin.com forward slash question and you can pop your question in there. I will make sure that I ask and answer it on the pod and I will give you a shout out and a link back to you uh, on that episode as well. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the Heart Centered Business Podcast. Until next time, I cannot wait to see you shine. Would you like more tips, tools, and resources to help you grow your heart-centered business? Head to tashcorbin.com today.